guys, it is me obviously and today I thought I'd spend the day today in Liverpool so um, yeah so you know what I got up early this morning because I fell asleep like half seven and obviously woke up like two in the morning and I wasn't really bored and I thought you know what let's go to Liverpool today so that's what I'm doing. I'm in Primark right now. Okay, I've just came from Primark now. Let me just tell you that that's the quietest I've ever like seen Primark because it's about half an hour when I went to, but it's still about nearly 10 o'clock ish now. And I walked in at like quarter past nine and it was literally empty. And I've never seen Primark that empty before. Like, usually it's like heaving at this time, like on like any day really. But yeah, I'm quite glad I went there now because I bet like in the next few hours that Primark's gonna be heaving with like people and shopping and stuff. So, if actually when I first walked into Liverpool before, the first thing I said was, oh, well, let's go to Primark now. Um, because I know it's gonna be like heaving the next like few hours or so. But anyway, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna look around Liverpool now, just embrace Liverpool. Okay, I'm just wondering where the seafront bit is here right now. So there's pretty hard with dock is and where the museum is, which we're gonna go in very soon, but I'm um, alright, so I'm kind of being quite scared being here because last time I was here, I'm um, not sure if you remember, but I got stung by a wasp like really badly. So I was heading towards the Albert Dock. I had like a coffee cup in my hands, like a nice latte, like a donut place which I like for originally. And this like wasp came like and just slapped me in the face, just like landed on my forehead and it just would not leave. Like I thought it like landed on my forehead and then just like leave after a while, but it was not leaving. So even though I now know that you're not supposed to be really, I well, knew what you weren't supposed to be really irritated, but I was like stink. But I didn't like, I don't know, I don't know what was with me that day, but I decided to get my coffee cup and just try and scoop it out of my forehead that way and try to get off in that way but it was very angry with me, very peed off with me for removing it from its home and so it stung my this part of my forehead pretty badly and it was like really painful as well like I didn't think that wasp thing was like really painful but it actually is like really painful like I had to run to the toilet and get like a wet paper towel to at least try and like numb the pain a bit um, but yeah that was an experience um, so I'm more conscious now, I'm just trying to be more careful not to have wasps lying on my forehead. Okay, I honestly don't know what's with me and like animals and Liverpool because one of those like, what's it called? Bird or whatever that black bird thing which like flies everywhere. Pigeons, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, that very nearly went into my face. Like it just missed. Like it was literally just like, literally just flew right at the top of my head. Um, but if we were like any close like here, it could have literally just like flown right into onto my head. And a pigeon would have been on my head. So. Yeah, just about missed having a pigeon fly right into me, so pretty good. I'm about to go out down the cavern quarter, which is where all the Irish pubs and things are. Like, it's where all the pubs are played about. It's so like, aesthetically pleasing, and I always take a bajillion photos when I'm down this like cavern quarter because it just looks so aesthetically pleasing.
my god, I am home, I am home. Oh my god, this bed feels so great to just be in. Oh my god, I've been literally like towards the end, like going to the pool, like I was so tired. I just wanted to get home, but now I'm home and my bed just feels so great. Oh my god. I'm home now and I didn't buy much stuff, I only bought like a t-shirt which I'll show you guys now but it's been great to go around the pool and I managed to film some content for my TikTok so that's a double bonus so I mean, I'm going to edit those things for content very soon but I just want to be home and just be in this bed for a while because I I'm tired. Okay, right, so this is what the t-shirt which I bought. This is what the t-shirt which I bought. That does not make sense. Anyway, um, this is the t-shirt which I bought. So it's like um, this pink t-shirt of H&M with this dumb cartoon in the middle. So that's literally the only thing which I bought today. So yeah, I thought I'd come to the full expectation to buy a lot of things, but it turns out not. But at least I bought a pink t-shirt. So I can wear this pink t-shirt. So that's pretty good. But anyway, I'm trying to edit a video. Well, I'm editing a vlog and the reason why you probably, you probably asked why I don't wear headphones from editing because I try and like edit with just the computer volume instead of like volume coming from headphones because I hate the sound of my own voice to the point where my, my own voice literally irritates me and when you wear like my, my headphones because my headphones like super duper noise cancelling and so when I, when I wear them all I can hear is my own voice and my own voice literally irritates me so much. I feel like grinding teeth in a way because I have to like sit and like listen to my own voice for like an hour while I'm editing each vlog so and it's not a very good voice I ever take croaky and not very much a good voice so having to listen to that for like an hour with super duper noise cancelling headphones is like nightmare fuel mm -hmm. 